breakfast is toast and eggs and so like I grew up on scrambled eggs and toast I'm keeping it to one because it's two points but I gotta find a little ketchup I gotta find a little ketchup we got we are headed to Walmart this morning before the rain comes yeah G Hughes sugar-free ketchup five calories per tablespoon so like I feel like that's good and we're gonna get um, pop away. They're gonna get pop tarts, not me. All right, so she's like, I want to do a video with you. So it's Wellness Wednesday, and I have yet completed another week. Um, I haven't Instagrammed it yet. Last time I actually had pancakes. Yep, that's a CC's pizza coin. So just a little salt. One of the things I did, this actually isn't what it is. Okay, so number one, don't leave it next to the cast iron pan when it heats up. It'll melt. Number two is one of the things I was running into is some thyroid. Go put that up. Thyroid issues or my thyroid was kind of acting up. And it was mentioned to me that, are you having iodized salt? And I'm like, I'm having Himalaya fine salt. And they're like, it doesn't have iodine in there. And what I have done is it's half and half. So it's half the pink salt and half of the iodized salt. It's become my perfect thing. Yes. I did not find it. Okay. I got to find my purse so I can leave. I can't find it. All right, so I'm gonna tell you what happened this week. I'm gonna tell you my eating out this week and I'm gonna tell you my go-tos this week and my achievements. No! But I'm missing something. What am I missing? I don't know what I'm missing. Ketchup, right? Oh, no, I was gonna show you this. My go-to product show today, this week, is the Fit and Active Wheat Bread, 40 calories, a slice. It is, um, for two slices, it's 80 calories, it has half a gram of fat, and it has six grams of fiber. So I count, because remember, I fudged my numbers just a little bit. It's not the way it calculates on the tracker. I count this as half a point for two slices which makes this a really easy, doable thing. You can get lunch meat for one point, fat-free cheese for half a point, two points. You can make a really boss sandwich. Um, ketchup, what kills you is the sugar and the added calories. This one, I won't lie, so there's a lower in sugar one by a different company, and there's this one. This one's a really sweet sugar. So just sticking it. I don't know about y'all, but like this is what I grew up eating growing up. So I hope that didn't make any of y'all sick. I have to go to the store. This is all I get for coffee today. That's I that's I'm down to that. Because I have no more sweetener. And I'm not a black drinking coffee girl. Black drinking coffee mama, because I'm too old to be a girl. I'm a mama. Um I'm going to tell you, I'm having, it's Wellness Wednesday, remember it's not all about weight loss. Oh, I am really having um, some, let me see if I can do this without crying. I'm an emotional wreck, which is impressive because I'm not eating my feelings. I am definitely an emotional wreck because living in this tiny house, the kids have grown so much. I can see the other house on the other side. I've got to show you that soon. Um coming along and it is raining it is like monsoon season it rains every day we are climbing the walls we are bigger and I just feel like there's so much stuff in the house and I have to share with you actually let me get it I have to share this with you so you're awesome is I love her to death she's one of my subscribers 
sent me a love package, a little love package, the about a month or two ago. And so what she sent me was Goodbye Things by Fumio Suzaki. Um, I'm gonna upload this. I'll put the link down below for this book. I actually listened to it in audiobook form. Um, I'm glad I have the book, but I didn't. You can see I, I didn't crack it open. I went ahead and I purchased the audio for it after she sent it to me. And I've liked this. It's not. I'm not going to be a minimalist. I'm never going to be a minimalist. But as a maximist, I really appreciated this book. And the biggest thing that hit home in this book. Now I'm going to warn you. There is some strong language in it. Not a lot. It's not. But it's a little salted in there. And what really hit home was having multiples of things because you keep going and buying things because you haven't designated a place to put them. That hit home for me. I tend to repurchase things often because I just can't find them. And I can't find them because I haven't given them a home of importance and I can't find them. So I just go, it's easier to go and buy it over again. Um, the other part too was viewing the grocery store as a pantry, as a warehouse to store your things that you need and you go and get what you need. Living in this situation, that's a really good concept. So I have enjoyed this book um, that You're Awesome sent me. Um, it was really cool. I was totally unexpected it. Um, she was so sweet about it. Um, it's Lisa. Lisa from You're Awesome. That's You're Awesome. And she's just said, I get a lot of value and encouragement from you and your channel and wanted to send a little gift to show that you are appreciated. I'm sending a book that I like and two planners that I like. Um, please feel free to use them, exchange them, re-gift them, or donate them. God bless you and your family. Love, Lisa. Um, so I absolutely have been thankful for this book. I would never have bought it or picked it out if it wasn't for Lisa sending them to me. And so one of the things to make me get through this, since it's not my style book, she sent me these really cool planners I'm going to show you. And um, when I'm like, I am not going to get into these until I finish this. This will be my reward. Um, and it's really cool. She she sent me this. And I, have, I haven't gotten myself in the right state of mind to do it. Today's to-dos. And this is a really cool... Um, beautiful like little today do list which I really got I've been using like this tiny little um, booklet but I, I want to move into here and then she sent me um, fulfill your ambition the pursuit goal journal and this is really neat this is like actually like sitting down and coming up with like what you want to do and the goals to do it they're beautiful I just wanted to share that um, so I've been getting kind of emotional lately and feeling slightly defeated and I haven't been eating my feelings so that's a serious win but it has me a bit just flabbergasted in so many ways and I just know like it's probably because we're to the crunch time the rain we can't be outside the kids are bigger there's just so much stuff in here and it's got me definitely realizing my limitations and I have a hard time understanding my limitations as somebody with ADHD my whole you know I've had ADHD my whole life and not realizing I had ADHD everything's just hard like this like people who are successful and have ADHD they just come to the point like everything's hard so you just have to push through what's hard and most of the time it's because internally it's really hard to get everything together and straight and go forward so like we really have no concept of external things being difficult for us because internally everything's difficult. And so I tend to push forward even in the midst of my limitations. And I'm not acknowledging my limitations because of that. And it has me really accepting and looking and evaluating what are my limitations and being more mindful of what I can and cannot do and just because I can get it done or I could doesn't mean I should. And I have to say, when I parented my older kids when they were littler, I maintained that. Like, just because I could 
do this for them doesn't mean I should do that for them. So with that said, I mean, I'm making as many changes as I can to just simplify before mama loses her hair. So on with the wellness journey, 10 minutes in. There's my little thing. I know, and you're awesome. Lisa just sent me another book, and, but this time she's figured me out because she sent me an audio book. And so I'm excited to get that downloaded and begin that. So, so I began the week. I have to go and look at my little black book, in my little black book. Um, I'm really excited because I get to mark off my goal. One of the goals I did was I set up this like little chart. So the first thing I did was give myself a little one to get me to a five increment and then just every five pounds and I'm tracking what the total weight is and reminding myself like that's 5% of my weight gone, 10% of my weight gone, 15, 20, 25% of my weight gone. And I kind of use that as like my little motivation page. Um, all right, all right. So getting on last week. I finished, I began my week last Wednesday at 181.1 pounds. I'm going to put it at the end of the video. I'll try and just make a playlist not of just this series, this like the 2019 Wellness Wednesdays. Maybe that's it. Um, I start at 191, or not 191, 181.1, which is really great, especially this week because, um, I didn't lose, you know, a five pound, whatever. And I mean, slow and go. If I can lose a pound and a half by Christmas, I'm going to be a bombshell. So, I mean, there you go. Um, I finished yesterday at 179.4. So, that put me, let's see, where's my little, that put me at, um, I didn't write it in. So, like, I even have one where I track my weight by the month. 179.4. So I lost around a pound and a half, which is stellar. I also had my anniversary. So I did eat out. Um, you might have seen that. I posted that on um, Facebook. I did eat out. I'm trying to get to the page I ate out. Um, I went to Outback. So I, I did actually make a mistake on my numbers. I wasn't exactly accurate because I didn't think about certain things. So remember I told you last week, I'm like, I want a blooming onion. Well, I went and had my blooming onion. So I kind of just fudged it. It's better to be approximate than be crazy overwhelmed by trying to be accurate. Approximate makes you successful without burning out. Being accurate will make you nuts. I have flunked being accurate. So the blooming onion on the menu said 1,950 calories, 2,000 calories for that thing. And I was like, wow, that's a lot of calories. So I'm like, well, every 50 calories is about a point. We're going to call that 40 points, which means if I have a quarter of it, that's 10 points. I can do it. So I ate it. I, I sectioned off a quarter. I put it on my plate. I got my sauce and I dipped away and I enjoyed it to the point like I felt like, oh, this is so greasy. I'm kind of over it, but whatever. It's fine. Um, I had the house salad and I, my favorite dressing for like 18 years, the tangy tomato dressing. I know, but this is what I like. Um, I guess that one about four points on the dressing. I had a baked potato. I guess that one around seven points and I had the nine ounce Outback. By the time I got to that, because I made it a point, I ate my blooming onion. I ate my salad. I ate my potato. I only got a third of my steak. And hey, so that means I went from six and a half points to two points, which was great. So um, there were a beverage or two in there that I counted. And I ended up only diving into eight points of my weekly points. So where did I fail? I didn't think about the fact that that, that Bloomin' Onion probably had five points worth of oil, fat sitting on it. But you know what, I can't be perfect. But that's good enough and I'm happy with what I got so um, that was my Friday night with my husband um, I had a Saturday we had a 4-H meeting so I was off and about and I did pick up a small chili from Wendy's that was three points um, there's been a lot of halo top in my life lately call it just emotional eating that might be the extent of my emotional eating and what's nice and and all these 
chocolate version of their halo top is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal um hit subway i think i hit subway multiple times this week i did hit subway a couple times this week i did i had another like five ten point subway thing maybe i didn't i thought i did i didn't that was the other week i did have a subway on monday because i had a monday night meeting and then um yesterday yesterday my big thing was the pancake we got home late it was kind of crazy and we had the pancake and let me show you the mix i used all right here's the mix i used okay so after doing keto doing trim healthy mom and all these weird pancake mixes just regular pancake mix oh my goodness just regular pancake mix i'm gonna post um i haven't posted it last from last night i had two huge pancakes like eight inch pancakes um one half a, a half a cup of pancake mix is four points which makes a big pancake well i have like 12 points 13 points for the day um i had two servings they were huge and i had not even a point's worth of blueberries that i threw in there i, I mean huge I, I couldn't even eat anymore ah, you know how nice it is that i can just have regular ingredients just simple ingredients i was talking to my girlfriend that does keto and she's like i had watermelon and i'm just so so miserable and i'm just you know bursting and my you know my stomach hurts and because it's so expanded and i just can't handle it and i love watermelon and it makes me so thankful to be back to weight watchers and nothing funny nothing funky i'm going to tell you coming off of keto coming off of low carving it everything I ate messed my stomach up for about a month or two as I've gotten back into really high fiber I mean my daily pursuit is good fiber all the time I eat vegetables oh we got these frozen I gotta show you I'll have to do a video on that frozen vegetables that I get from this place called Southwestern Produce they like they're out of Plant City Florida but they deliver all the way into Georgia and you buy these like eight pound bags. So I have bought an eight pound bag of Brussels sprouts and oh my goodness, all I do is roast them with salt. We eat them like popcorn, you know, like just eating our vegetables that way. But I was getting to the point like maybe I can't digest everything, but now that I've added fiber back into my life and my body adjusted, I can eat everything, but I'll tell you what, but I've never been good at this. So this, I can't, I can't say this is one way or another. I don't digest like, pork fat very well no ribs um i can eat lean pork but i cannot eat heavy fat pork because it makes me sick and it's always made me sick and i think it has a lot to do with my gallbladder or the lack of my gallbladder so anyways that's just so trish i want to eat my egg thing because i haven't gotten there yet mm. And I'm not going to talk with my mouth full. Probably I haven't taken a bite yet. So it's just so Trish. I love you guys. Um, just pray for me. I could use it. And I'm going to keep on trucking along. And just give myself peace when things aren't going well. And just kind of keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Of course, I have the Lean Cuisines. And if you didn't catch last week's video, definitely catch it. And if you haven't subscribed, here you go. Somewhere around here. I'll talk to you ladies later. I love you, my lovelies.